Hello there. This video explains how to test engine coolant with a refractometer to establish its freezing point. And that's important. Why? Because if it freezes, it might expand, crack your engine block and ruin your day. That's definitely not good. So we better get started. Welcome to Cast by TV. Right, let's take a look at the equipment we need to test the freezing point of engine coolant, then we'll discuss how to configure it to get an accurate reading. Primarily, of course, we have the refractometer itself. It incorporates this eyepiece that you look through like a telescope, a plastic cover, and a surface below the plastic cover for any liquid that's being tested. We also have a pipette, a screwdriver, distilled water, and this funky case that's definitely not a disgusting cut. Nice. To configure the refractometer, open the plastic cover, put a few drops of distilled water onto the surface below with the pipette, then close the cover. Now, point the refractometer towards something bright, the sky perhaps, or a window, and look through the eyepiece. Ooh, this is what's visible. If, at this point, the image on your refractometer is out of focus, twist the eyepiece clockwise or anti-clockwise. That should sharpen it up. Now, note the horizontal waterline towards the bottom of the image. As you can see, everything above it is blue and everything below it is white. This confirms that the refractometer is properly configured. In contrast, let's pretend for this demonstration that the colours meet above or indeed below the waterline. Let's pretend, for example, that they meet about here. This confirms that the refractometer isn't properly configured. So, remove this black cap to reveal a screw. Now, grab the screwdriver and turn the screw clockwise or anti-clockwise until the blue and white meet at the waterline. Once the refractometer is configured, wipe off the distilled water, then be ready to test the engine coolant. Right, let's test engine coolant with the refractometer using my car as an example. Here's a sample I removed from the expansion tank. So, put a few drops of engine coolant onto the refractometer, close the cover and look through the eyepiece. Note there are several scales, but what's relevant is the right side of the scale in the centre. It's marked ethylene. This centre scale is for engine coolant, and my coolant is ethylene based rather than propylene. If yours is propylene, use the left side of the centre scale. See too that the blue and white now meet at minus 41 Celsius rather than at the waterline. This proves that my engine coolant won't freeze until minus 41. That's fine, it never gets anywhere near that cold where I live. So, for your vehicle, note the freezing point of the coolant and compare it to the lowest temperature you're likely to experience. If the coolant is likely to freeze, it's sensible to replace it. Right, we've successfully tested engine coolant with a refractometer, but there are a few final points to consider. Firstly, refractometers come in various shapes and sizes, so yours might be slightly different to mine. Even if that's the case, it probably still works on broadly the same principle. Oh. And if you were wondering, the scale on the left of my refractometer is for testing battery acid and the scale on the right is for windscreen washer fluid. Finally, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, it's free, ask any questions in the comments section and do me a favour and click like on this video. Right, that's all for now. Thank you for watching.